Hello everyone. Today I want to share a simulation of the bending of a concrete. And here is the result in Abacus. It is a 3D model, but in the thickness direction there is just one element. And in the middle of the concrete block, it has a notch and this model is half of the whole model let's see here this is the concrete and we give it a velocity load and we create the left half of the model and here is the cdp model of concrete The compressive behavior and the compressive airspace is two megaparts. And here the tensile behavior and tensile damage. And this is the parameters of the CDP model. So in Abacus, how should we input these parameters? Let me show you. First, and this model was imported as MD file, so this is all from mesh. As we can see, this is just the left half of the model. And then, in the property, we need to define the concrete property here we used the concrete damage plasticity and we needed to define the elastic yes modular and pressure ratio and here the concrete damage plasticity we can define it here concrete damage plasticity so here is the dilation angle and eccentricity and then we need to define the compressive behavior and the tensile behavior and in the type when there are two types three types we need to be good to choose from the string and displacement and gfi and here we use the displacement or we can use the string and if we need to define the compressive damage parameter we just Click the subversions and here compressive damage. And in this model, we just need to define the concrete tensile damage because the material in this model are under a tensile load. So we need to input the tensile damage parameter here. And also, there we Control strain or displacement. So we choose displacement and the damage parameter. So here is just a linear damage parameters. So this is the material property and how to define the concrete damage plasticity. Then we need to create the section here. The material is the one we just created. And then assign the section to this part. Here. And this, this part will turn to green. 
and then we can go to the next module assembly and just make it make it an uh, instance and then we need to define the step here we use the rex method so we create a static rex rex step here create a step and here oh sorry we have create room so let's press it and redefine a rex step here and continue here we need to define a stop criteria and first the non non junior we need to turn it on and in the stopping criteria we need to define the maximum displacement and the maximum load proportional factor here we give it one and the maximum displacement here we keep a node set and defend the in the y direction displacement of the y direction as minus 0 0.0015 so we can check which node it is here and we can make it highlighted so this is the middle node of the whole block so this is the static rig step and here we need to give some parameters for the increment maximum number of increments and the initial arc length maximum arc length estimated total arc length then we can go to the interaction model because in this module we don't need to define anything so I go to the load module here we need to give the boundary condition or the load as we can see this is the symmetry surface of the whole model so we give it the uh, a displacement constraint in the x direction and also in this end we need to uh, constrain the displacement of the y and z direction so and uh, <coughs> and and at the last there is a velocity load in the top node because there are two nodes and we give the velocity of uh, the displacement of the this two load in the y direction and the magnitude is about 0 0.0015 so when we um, push it down the concrete will um, are suffering the tension tension load so it may crack in this region Just as we see in the proponent and here, we can get the maximum load the block, the concrete block can stand. 
So this is our target. Uh, hey, let me back to the software. <coughs> and the element type is C3D8R. And then this part we get a fan mesh and this region we make it cross. So after all we need to define the uh, output in the field output we need to define the and damage parameter. So we choose the compressive damage and tensile damage. And in this simulation, it's all about tensile damage. And in the history output, we want to know the reaction force of the constraint node. So I create a history output and uh, and choose the set and I can show you which nodes it include out node out here. So it's about this two node and we can get the reaction force and displacement so then we can create a job and submit it and make it do the calculation and then we can check the result First, we need to check the stress. So, the maximum stress is in the um, middle node of the part, where it is the load applied. And then we can check the field. Potential air here. This region has yield by tension load, so we can check the damage of tension here. Can also show the animation. So in the experiment, maybe the concrete will crack at at this place and per propagation. So how do we get the maximum load it can stand? Here we can get the displacement and the reaction force of the node. So this one is the reaction force and here is the displacement because the displacement is in the negative y direction so I want to get it positive so I need to I need to save it as Displacement. And here is the reaction force. So I save it as force. And then we can combine to one code displacement as x axis and the force and plot. 
Oh, maybe he has something. Okay. I forget to uh, to get the absolute value of the displacement. So here at this disk, I want to make it positive. So maybe I can add a minus system x. So here, let's give a minus and this and then reaction force. So this is the displacement and force curve for this concrete block. Just as we showed in the PowerPoint. So in this simulation, we just give a simple, a concrete sample and the bending load. So we can get the maximum load it can stand. And this is the whole context of this tutorial. And thank you for watching. If you are interested in RPCE, please subscribe my channel. And see you next time.